speaker for the second plenary. He served as a communication secretary under President Benigno C. Aquino III, head of the Presidential Management Staff, or PMS, under President Corazon C. Aquino, and Transportation and Communications under Secretary, under President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. He was Professor of Business Management at the ASEAN Institute of Management, or AIM, where he also served as Dean of Executive Education. He is the former president of the University of Makati. In the private sector, he is a senior executive of a commercial bank. Executive Vice, Vice President, the Manila Bullion Publishing Corporation. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Herminio Sani B. Maloma Jr. Pwede po ba akong maglambing sa inyong lahat? Pwede po bang kung hapang ako ay nagsasalita ay iupon niyo sa akin na inyong atensyon at pagkakasalita. Dr. Nona Ricofor, Mr. Yong Gunkin, Stella, Distinguished Guests, Resource Speakers, Ladies and gentlemen, magandang hapong po sa inyong lahat. Para hindi na tayo magiwala ng mga Si General Colin Powell has a simple formula for effective public speaking, consisting of three rules. Number one, tell the audience what you will tell them. Number two, tell them. Number three, tell them what you just told them. <laughs> I will tell you what I'm, I'm going to talk about. I will just mention three points, and I hope you remember all three. But to contextualize our topic, let us refresh our memory and recall the difficulty we had during the height of the COVID pandemic especially the period from March 2020 to March 2021 when there was no vaccine. Our biggest enemy at that time was not the pandemic. Our biggest enemy was an infodemic. An infodemic of lies, fake news, and disinformation, which probably killed more people than the coronavirus itself. So this underlines to us the importance of being able to discern what is factual and what is true from what is not. That is our common responsibility. Because if we are unable to do this, we are unable to promote the ends of peace. As an exponent of Philippine progress since our founding in 1900, the Manila Bulletin is firmly committed to attaining peace. And we believe this to be achieved through three imperatives. The first imperative is to expose and oppose misinformation and disinformation. This can escalate tensions and conflict. So media must stand as a reliable source of accurate and verified information. At the Manila Bulletin, we take pains to verify the accuracy of the news that we publish. We are not interested in being the first to break out the news. We are committed to ensuring that the news we report is factual and accurate. By upholding journalistic integrity and fact-checking, we avert the spread of false narratives. In this way, the public is well informed. People are enabled to make sound decisions based on truth. Inform, inspire, empower are our three guideposts in the day-to-day -day gathering, evaluation, production, and distribution of our content. While digital acceleration has enabled us to 
to overcome manifold challenges. It has also spawned many unsavory consequences, and it is our collective responsibility to ensure that we combat the enemies of truth. Our second imperative is to promote dialogue and understanding. The mass media serve as conduits for communication. Communication, this is my favorite definition of communication, it is a bridge of meaning over a river of misunderstanding. Ang komunikasyon po ay isang tulay ng kahulugan sa ibabaw ng ilog ng hindi pagkakaunawaan. Mukhang natutuwa si Ma'am uh, Alvarez. Media serves as a powerful platform for promoting dialogue and understanding among diverse cultures, societies, and nations. By facilitating informed discussions and providing a space for different perspectives, newspapers and publications can bridge gaps, dispel misconceptions, and foster mutual respect, thereby contributing significantly to global peace efforts. Two weeks from today, the Manila Bulletin is hosting the second Sustainability Forum, where we seek to promote a broader understanding beyond going green and caring for the environment. We'd like to involve people in their communities and on a broader scale we call on corporations to share their resources or to collaborate on projects that go beyond publicity and lip service. The importance of the advocacy for peace that is being promoted by the Global Media Forum is underlined by the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict that has been raging for the past month. The world is crying out for peace, but this seems to be an elusive goal on account of deeply embedded distrust and animosity that has escalated into deadly warfare. Every day that we put out the Manila Bulletin, it pains us to be the bearer of news about war and death. We have therefore endeavored to shed light and amplify on initiatives that foster cooperation, understanding, and joint efforts to build a gentler and kinder world. Our third and final imperative is to be an advocate for human rights and social justice. Media has the power to shed light on human rights abuses, social injustices, and other global issues. It is not easy to be a journalist these days, according to Time Magazine, the Israel, Israeli Hamas war is the deadliest for journalists in 30 years, with at least 35 fatalities, while the total death toll in that conflict has already exceeded 11,000. How many more lives will be lost before a ceasefire is called? Even if we momentarily set aside our concern about the ongoing war in the Middle East, we must continue to strive to attain global respect for human rights and social justice. One of the basic things we, could, we should we could do is to address the problem of poverty. Poverty continues to afflict millions of Filipinos. Hunger and malnutrition affects Millions of Filipino children whose growth has been stunted. The ultimate goal of achieving national progress is to enable Filipino families to attain a reasonable measure of economic sufficiency and well-being. Esteemed colleagues in mass media communications, we must continue to believe and support the ideal of attaining global peace. I have just discussed with you three imperatives. First, to expose and oppose misinformation and disinformation. Second, to promote dialogue and understanding. And third, be an advocate for human rights and social justice. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with each and every one of us.